Ladies and gentlemen, this is my version of strawberry shortcake. It's a good one, and I think you're going to enjoy this recipe. Today's recipe is going to be something special. Strawberry shortcake! You know, have you ever noticed how folks just don't get excited about that anymore? It's just kind of bland and plain and not all that. And that's sort of my inspiration. I've had this recipe milling around in the back of my head for a while and I've been wanting to get it out there. And this is going to be a special strawberry shortcake. It's not going to be the same bland vanilla cake, sponge cake is what they usually provide you for this recipe. And if you go through your food store and you purchase the small cakes for strawberry shortcake, that's usually a sponge cake. Shortcake's something totally different. Shortcake is usually made from a biscuit dough. It's a totally different recipe. So anyway, that old recipe's been lost, and I've decided let's remake this thing and make it fun. So folks, this is going to be a chocolate strawberry shortcake with a bourbon cream topping on it, and it's going to be off the chain good. Let me show you how to make this delicious dish. You're going to enjoy it. Come on. Now folks, this is a basic chocolate cake recipe. So the ingredients are very simple. It's flour, milk, cocoa, sugar, eggs, baking soda, baking powder, salt, butter, and for this dish of course we're going to be using strawberries and I'm going to be breaking out some cream in a little bit to do a special whipped topping for it. It's going to be so good, but the basis of it, which is the cake, has to be made first and we got to get those cooled down so we need to get them made this is real easy so when it comes to baking up our cake i have chosen for mine to use these little souffle ramekins these things are really cool you can bake all kinds of stuff in them and i started thinking hey strawberry shortcake that's right about the right size and if i did this it would give me a perfect shape and that's what i decided you don't have to use these. You could use a sheet cake. You can cut your cake however you want it. I just wanted to throw this idea at you. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure I grease and flour each one of these. So I'm going to put shortening in it and flour each one out. And that way I don't have any of my cake sticking. Grease and flour those ramekins. And that way you don't have any problem with your cake sticking, okay? So this being a very basic and simple recipe using the melted butter, is so very easy. It's as simple as doing a, a boxed mix for making a cake. So all we have to do is I've got my flour there in a sifter. Put all of your dry ingredients in there, your, your soda, your, your baking powder, salt in there, then the sugar and, and the uh, cocoa. And as you're sifting, it all gets sifted together, then mix in your wet ingredients. You can just mix that with a whisk. And as soon as it's all wet, it's ready to go into the cups, okay? Um, this is as basic as I, as any cake recipe I have, and I sure hope that y'all try this and experiment with it. And remember, you can take the cocoa out and turn it into anything else. Now I'm going to take a rubber spatula and go over the outside of that bowl one more time, making sure that I have this all ready. Now, I added just a little more water, not much, just a tiny bit, uh, a couple of tablespoons, just enough to get my viscosity to flow just a little more like this. And I did it because of the size of these cups. I'm trying it this way, and so you'll know. This is one of those recipe development moments. Hey, we're just doing it together, okay? So now, I have to get that from there into these cups. I think I'm going to use a ladle for that, and... If I don't use all of my cups, I shouldn't be too surprised. All right, there we have them. All right, these are gonna have to cook in the oven 350 degrees, and I have that preheated. Now, I wanna let you know something. I cleaned my dishes in the amount of time it took for me to preheat this oven, and that gave these a little bit of time to rise a little bit from that double acting baking powder. Remember, first action is when it's mixed. Second is when it goes in the oven. All right, so 
350 degrees, it should take about 25 minutes, maybe up to 30. I'll know those are ready when a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. Well folks, these are all out of the oven. The actual cooking time on them turned out to be 35 minutes. Um, the 25 minutes, I checked them at that point and you know, put my toothpick in right there, pulled it out. It was soaking wet with uh, batter and I knew it was gonna be a little longer. 35 minutes and they've come out perfect. They domed up, they've got a nice gentle crust on top of them and they're absolutely beautiful. These are gonna make a great strawberry shortcake. Do yourself a favor, give them plenty of time to cool. They're gonna shrink some and release, then transfer them to another rack once they've cooled enough to touch. At that point, we start making our strawberry shortcake. Folks, my cakes have come out. I used a table knife to help myself remove them. Just ran it around the sides to help free them on the bottom, and they popped out fairly easy. Now, I'm at the moment, I'm removing the crowns off of some strawberries, and I wanna slice those. The outside on my slices, on either side, if I slice like this, I'm going to use those for decoration on my plate and the center slices I'm going to use in this inside portion of these wonderful little treats. So get busy cutting off your crown and slice them up. Once again, I don't show you the cream. Why is that? The reason is I'm trying to keep it cold. The colder your whipped cream, the better it will whip up. It's just a, an absolute fact. So remember that little rule and it's going to make this easier for you. Now the next thing is, after I measure up my one cup of cream, I've also got some sugar back here, and that's a couple of tablespoons of that, and the two tablespoons of bourbon. If you don't want to use bourbon, you can use other things, you know, like vanilla or, or whatever flavor you want. So you pick what you like. I'm going to go with bourbon on this one because I love the flavor of this with both chocolate and strawberries, and in cream, it's just incredible. So I'm going to pour up this. And I'm going to start by putting the sugar in early and letting that work its way into the cream as I'm whipping it. Once it's starting to firm up a little bit, that's when I add the bourbon and work it in gently. Okay, so there you have it. That's as simple as it is, bourbon cream. Folks, look at this. This whipped cream is wonderful. It's nice and stiff. I have my bourbon in there, the sugar's in there. And ladies and gentlemen, it's, mm, it's magnificent. It's a light flavor, very delicate, and perfect for this dish. Now, for the quantity of what we use today, first off, let me talk about that whipped topping. You're only using as much flavoring as you need. Now, if it's an extract, it only takes teaspoons. And if it is something like bourbon or whatever, then you're probably gonna use one to two tablespoons, okay? It's just that simple. And then you're going to use about a cup of cream. That's what I did. And you saw how much it produced. Okay, if you want, go to two cups or whatever to make as much as you need. I like to just produce it as I need it. And that way I have a nice fresh whipped cream. Now, the flour, we used two cups of flour, one cup of milk, and this is for our cake, three, excuse me, one and a half cups of sugar, six tablespoons of cocoa, two eggs, one teaspoon of soda, that's baking soda, one teaspoon baking powder, one quarter teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a cup of butter, and that's one and a half sticks, and of course, as many strawberries as needed for yours, if you like to go heavy or light, depending. And when it comes to your topping, as I mentioned before, you're starting with a cup to two cups of cream, just depending on your needs. And on that sugar, we sweeten it to taste. It can be anywhere from one or two tablespoons to a quarter of a cup. It's, as I mentioned, it's to taste. So folks, that is your recipe. It's that simple. And remember, this is a basic chocolate cake recipe. You can use it and mold it and change it and turn it into all kinds of different things. So really, please enjoy that one. I think it's time to get this assembled. I need to take one of these. Let's just pick one out, that one there. Okay, take my knife. Remember, always cutting away from you. Rotate it. Okay. 
Now, it's the bottom half I want to start with. Let's get a plate up here. I want that right smack in the middle of that plate. Now, I have a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of cake here. Now, these, as I mentioned before, I want them for my plate. And I want the top where I cut the, the stem off, I want it facing up toward the cake. That way it tapers away from it on each one. This, I believe, needs a little bit of cream on top. And I don't think I should be any too mild about it. It needs its namesake, strawberry shortcake right on top. Next, this, not on top, right off to the side, just like so. Beautiful, huh? Strawberry shortcake. <laughs> That's the way it should be done. It's been good, <laughs> I tell you. I've been sitting here enjoying my strawberry shortcake. This is a good one, folks. If you ever want a strawberry shortcake that's going to wow your friends, this will do it. Mm. All of the flavors, they work with each other so well. Blending. It's delicious. Enjoy yours. If you would, please take a look at my channel. A lot of other good recipes there. Take a look at my website, you know, that's satrotter.com. There's going to be the new Texas Cooking Today merchandise will be put on that. I'll be working on that in December, so that's coming up soon. Thank you for watching this, and folks, please enjoy your strawberry shortcake. You just made a very special one. <laughs>